understanding the ventilator triggers so these are phase variables so inside the phase variable uh, there are different types of variables and uh, one of them is uh, trigger variables trigger variable is the variable that determines the start of inspiration so usually there are three trigger variables that is pr time pressure and flow either the time or pressure or flow can determine the start of inspiration these are known as phase variables also because it de uh, depends upon the phase of the uh, respiratory cycle because all these uh, initiate the inspiration so this is a phase variable also and this triggers the start of inspiration so they are trigger variables also so first we will see what is time trigger so time trigger it's a type of uh, uh, control ventilation in which uh, the time triggered breath is initiated and delivered by the ventilator when a preset time interval has elapsed so for example if the patient uh, uh, we have set the ventilator at a, uh, 12 breaths per minute so that is every 16 60 seconds a 12 breaths so for uh, every 5 seconds the ventilator will trigger a breath at this time trigger interval the ventilator automatically delivers one mechanical breath that is every 5 seconds without regard to the patient's breathing effort or requirement so whether the patient is in inspiratory phase or expiratory phase every 5 seconds the ventilator will deliver a breath so it is actually a type of controlled ventilation so now we will see what is pressure trigger pressure trigger is pressure triggered breath is initiated and delivered by the ventilator when it senses the patient's spontaneous inspiratory effect so this is we all know this is a ventilatory circuit here there is the inspiratory limb and this is the expiratory limb so from here air will enter uh, when the patient is uh, uh, when the ventilator is delivering or the patient is uh, breathing this will go into the patient's uh, lungs and the, exp uh, the, the expiratory air will come out through this so whenever there is a effort that is a, a spontaneous breathing effort will create a uh, that will uh, create a negative pressure in the circuit because uh, during in the start of inspiration there is a negative intrathoracic pressure and that pressure will be reflected um, through the from the lungs into the ventilatory circuit also so there will be a pressure drop inside the ventilatory circuit and this pressure drop will uh, will uh, will trigger the ventilator machine and the machine will deliver a breath so this pressure drop will cause the negative deflection in the ventilator graphics so this pressure uh, so in pressure trigger we can set the trigger usually from minus 1 to minus 5 so if we set it at minus 1 that is when the patient is initiating a small uh, effort or a small drop in negative pressure itself uh, the ventilator is uh, delivering a breath if we keep it as minus 2 this negative pressure um, negative pressure the patient has to create a much more negative pressure that is this uh, negative deflection should reach up to this 2 so if we keep it as minus 5 then that means the patient has to take a large effort that is a large negative pressure uh, has to be generated then only the, the ventilator will be delivering a breath so if we want uh, the patient's uh, respiratory muscles need to be conditioned or uh, uh, in such cases we have to keep uh, the uh, triggers at uh, minus 3 or minus 4 or if the patient is very sick and uh, we want to reduce the work of breathing to maximum we should keep a lower trigger like minus 1 so that is regarding the pressure trigger so what happens if there is an auto peep developing that is if there is water inside the ventilator circuit then the waveform will not touch at the baseline the waveform will start from here that is if if we consider that this much peep which is drawn here is about uh, uh, 5 centimeter of peep has developed in the circuit so this much will be 5 centimeter so uh, then what happens is that uh, even if we keep a trigger at minus 5 uh, uh, this negative pressure will reach only up to this 0 because this is 5 no uh, for example if we keep this uh, uh, keep this uh, that is we keep this uh, uh, one second if we keep this as uh, 2 that is we are keeping this as 2 that is uh, excuse me so we are keeping this as uh, uh, two, uh, 2 centimeter of peep has developed inside the uh, breathing circuit so what happens is uh, only if the for if we and we have kept the sensitivity as minus 2 
then what happens is even if it is minus 2 uh, this peep uh, the patient effort will uh, reach only up to um, 0 it because this is 2 only so minus 1 will come up to here and minus 2 will come up to here so the uh, ventilator will not get triggered so in that case if there is 2 uh, peep we have to keep at least at minus 3 then only the ventilator this will reach up here if we keep the trigger at minus 1 and uh, the patient has a peep of um, uh, minus 2 uh, has a peep of 2 then in order to ventilate to trigger the patient has to generate at least minus 3 centimeters of negative intrathoracic pressure then only this way uh, this dip will uh, come below and touch the minus 1 then only will a breath be delivered so it is very dangerous and we should be careful make uh, sure that there is no auto peep developing inside the ventilator circuit so now we see what is flow trigger flow trigger is that uh, we have seen that there is inspiratory limb and this is the expiratory limb. So, whenever there is no breathing effort from the patient, the inspiratory flow will be equal to the expiratory flow. So, whenever the patient takes a breath, what happens is this inspiratory flow, some of the flow will go into the patient's lungs. So, there will be this inspiratory flow will be more and expiratory flow will be less. So, when the expiratory flow is less than the inspiratory flow, the ventilator will trigger a breath. So, that is known as uh, uh, trigger flow. So, this tr fl flow triggered uh, breath uses a strategy that combines the continuous flow and demand flow mechanism and it is used to reduce the inspiratory effort imposed on the patient during mechanical ventilation. Actually, this is considered to be more sensitive to the patient inspiratory effort and therefore usually requires less work, inspiratory work than uh, pressure triggering. So, if it is a sick patient and we have to reduce the work of breathing, we have to keep it as flow trigger. So, this is what, so and the ventilator senses this flow differential that is from the inspiratory, uh, expiratory flow differential and instantly supply enough flow to satisfy the mechanical spontaneous tidal volume. So, uh, CMV uh, that is uh, control mandatory ventilation, SIMV and PSV can all be flow triggered. So, uh, now we will uh, discuss about a, another term that is ven ventilator sensitivity. So, that means how hard the patient must work to initiate or trigger a breath. So, in this case, uh, is known as ventilator sensitivity. So, that is, uh, in this case, uh, the PEEP is developing and we have set a, uh, a, uh, a trigger as minus 1. So, in this patient has to initiate minus 3, then only a breath will be delivered. So, in this case, the ventilator sensitivity is less. While if the patient, if the ventilator is made more sensitive to the patient efforts, it is easier for the patient to trigger a breath and if a ven ventilator sensitivity is less, it is difficult for the patient to trigger a breath. So, I hope everybody understood the concept of uh, time trigger, pressure trigger and flow trigger. Thank you.